This is the story of nearly 4 million women living in Uganda. Their mornings start a lot earlier than any other member of their household. The beckoning sound of duty comes before the cock's first crow. The first meal of the day for her working husband and school-going children must be made quickly in the silence of morning and the solitude of a dark kitchen, sometimes indoor, but for most, it's an outdoor encounter. Whereas they have a whole day to worry about, their first worry is lighting a stove to make breakfast for their families. These women rely largely on biomass fuel, Modern methods like gas are out of reach because of their high purchase and replenishing cost. Traditionally, Cooking in many African societies is the responsibility of the women or mother in a home, something most women are proud of and often eager to do. But for many women living in central Uganda today, cooking is a painful experience characterized with large volumes of smoke and scorching heat, both being byproducts of the cooking stove. To light a cooking stove, many turn to plastic bags known as cavera in the local language, old newspapers, boxes that are notorious for giving off toxic flames in the process. Unaware of the complications that come with constant exposure to such toxic flames, these women find themselves living in danger of acquiring respiratory and cardiovascular complications. We call them biofuels, um, like charcoal, firewood, crop residues, leaves, straws, all sorts of things that people burn to generate energy are associated with very high levels of indoor air pollution or air pollution. Uh, these materials actually, when they are burnt, they generate all the dangerous pollutants that you can imagine, which can be generated like from diesel. For example, they generate carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and carbon dioxide itself. Children who are exposed to this smoke, especially in the kitchens, their immunity to infections goes down. And when it goes down, the chance that they will be infected with infections like pneumonia is increased. So mothers uh, need to take this seriously um, to make sure that their children are not exposed. Unknown to many, the cost of cooking with biomass fuel is fatal to their health and well-being. The biting economic times have led many to resort to even more rudimentary methods of cooking in an effort to cut the runaway cost of living. However, the cutting down of trees for firewood and the fumes emitted from cooking with biomass fuels have only increased the pressure on the environment. <laughs> Sa 
Singa mbanga na kagate kako ba sigiri kwa ito kuchia muka. O muliro guonga mkukua taguwa vanga mua muka. Nempuliranga nziranga nzo mchalo mzito. Zile ito muka mungu. Zile ita obuchafu mungu. Nine out of ten homes in central Uganda use chako to cook. In most homes, the husband is the breadwinner and therefore bears the responsibility of providing for the home and paying for utilities. At the heart of this obligation is feeding the family. This starts with buying the fuel required to make a meal. On average, a man must leave at least 3,000 shillings every day to purchase charcoal that will be used to prepare mainly breakfast, lunch, and supper. Some days, it's easier to leave this money behind. However, on mornings that follow a bad day at work, the situation often evolves into a bitter argument. <laughs> Ogendo kumaliza nga nomusajja yinyi ayomba kaje ande kera nge nkumi nyata atawa abana nenga nange nfuna yo nkumi bili nenkoze sama ndaga musuka kaga wonalinga sina mu nkumi bili omusajja ne mugama anti kati ndekera kakaga yachifuna nga mu buzibu ngalaba nga nza agenda okufisa nkumi bili nziteke kuzaka meza nenge kitufu kyali mucho nali sina chikumi chefisa So, to make ends meet in a biting economy, the husbands are constantly looking for ways to either save money or make more. And out of the need to cut on expenditures, some resort to cutting on the number of meals a day, often from three or four meals a day to just one. Yena kumanga tenyo kamuka na yagalanga nyo mfune sigiri ngateso bola kuyuwa vu ni moku okuyo manila ndilo di wangi ngatenge kekeleza mananga nebo ema nguze nsawo yangi nso bolo juko ziso umuizi umulamba wapakale wiksi nga sato ingeri jendi wa business na yombanga neba wangi nchok nsonga nti amanda na gate kanga ko Nigabanga Gagenda. A chilling gang, a choke with it. Nalo was an ingam and singer, Tetufuna Yomokisakufuna Sigirindala. Together Genanga to Pangisama Yumba, no con on a semi to Abalandi Lodi, Gabu to the other Genda but to go back. It is the way to see The ultimate solution to biomass smoke exposure is to use clean cooking energy, which is electricity and gas at best. However, we know that the, the number of people who can access these clean fuels in Africa and many other low-income countries is limited. So there are innovations, and these are things which have been termed as clean cooking stoves. These stoves could cut emissions from a hundred probably to around 60 or 50 percent and this has been associated with health benefits in some studies and it's one of the solutions that we can use in poor settings. Mm. Gabatunda unda masigiri ganu, ngabatu unda na amanda. Nange kwe kubabuza, nebanyo nyola nga webali wagatu unda. Ni mkwano kwa nginambuli da, nangamba, ae wali yeyo kampu ni, yekola masigiri. Ni mbuza yaani, nangamba, mbuli da bajita briketi, nangamba tuwa lako kugano, kukutani, koko zisako, natandika ni sigiri emu, nisoka, niteka kebi janjalo, ubude wali buhise. Ebijanjalo 
Nenja gala ngeze sekonda be Echea mazima Na soka koze saa yobu sake timubidi Nembu tuwale waka Na butu sayo Nenku masigiri yange Nembu teka ko Chiampali dizoko maoku chima sigiri Uruvanyi maloku laba anti amanda Ganko lela bulu unji na gazu ulamu echo chenalisi subida All stoves that bear the mark of the good stove have been tested and therefore meet the highest standard of efficiency while giving you a cleaner, safer, and healthier cooking experience. Mkera kumachia, nenzigia mkatale ranga we munda wa kubiznes yange. Nenzi jana abana bangiranga wemba bagambye nengera akasera nempate mnere yange nenzi dai waka kubanze asula kumpi ne wano wenkolera nengi sani kana nengi teka ko nteka kama nda gange ngana irangera akasera nenzi dayo nensange mere yange nge idde bulunji ngana amazi olusi musigadde mu matona atenga tesiride nengi nyiga nengi zako Ato mwami wange na kwa mawe shiro era na asima na mboze mele wajifumbia sawa mekate ngo nyuka lwa mbulo nyuma. Nze yali ya koze sensa we wiki. Nge guawo. Ati nsobo lo gula manda gange nga ganko minya. Nge ganko lila. Oluna kulona nge ganfumba bulichie nje gala. Kati nfisi za dala kasente. Yali ya koze sanu sukakaga. Oluna kukati nkoze saluku mbitani. Nefisa hako nusuza nge nkumi nyamu bitano. Nezigenda kubitabo vya vana vange, oba kusukuru fizi wabe. Abachia nabu naba andaba. Oba wagendo kumpulida. Baje wa gule briket. Kumanga briket ya kekeleza, ya teleka, ya savinga vya njinyo. Nwa musajia wakaji tajia kuyomba wa kugula manda bachala banange chenali sobodde okubagamba nali badde mbakubiriza beguli beyumire sigiri eyo okwewala obuzibo obutali bumu nokubanga bakekereza ensawo ya abami babwe kubanza omusajjo wange tacha ayomba atenga tuyine emirembe si kya mpeka sente nga bwe One, um, make sure that where you cook is clearly ventilated. Make sure that your kitchen has good ventilation. If you are going to cook inside, make sure that your kitchen has enough windows and air can move freely. That is as simple as that. In addition to that, do not sit too close to the, to the cooking. You could make the fire, put the food, but periodically check. Three, do not take children into the kitchen. Four, do not cook where you are going to sleep. Handled well by not living under the rain or under the sun for long periods or by not overloading them with heavy saucepans, the good stoves can last for a long time and give users value for money. You can find a good stove at a shop or supermarket near you.